Hi everyone, welcome back to Box Delights. Yesterday I set folks on Facebook, Twitter, All Game Geek a little challenge, a little renegade challenge for first edition owners. We're playing Hetty Magnetic and we're facing Viral Overload and I thought I'd give you the solution. Also, it kind of gives me an opportunity to update you on what's happening with the game. The game is currently out of print. The publisher hasn't been making any for a little while, so whatever stock was left was was gone and we're no longer promoting the game under its current name. 2021 this year we're looking to kick off with this remaster. Same game, different name. But it does kind of give me a little opportunity to tweak a few things so there might be a few little rule changes, very minimal. It's going to be the same game. Your first edition games should be more compatible I'm playing Viral Overload. Viral Overload is a card I do want to change. I'm going to rein it back a little bit and make it a little bit more balanced in line with all the other silvers because there are times when particularly I feel that you could succeed and actually the, the punishment is worse than if you'd have failed. So that's one thing in particular I don't really like. It was kind of like once you become familiar with Viral Overload you could work around it but yeah I'm not I'm not wholly happy and this is what happens when you evolve a design it is a living beast a design and it's it's never really finished there's always things you'll find you want to make better so it's that kind of thing anyway i'll talk about that at the end but i'm going to change spider a little bit too at the moment she puts us she rolls for sparks but i want all the sparks to go on the same server and that makes it just a little bit more potent and then the rule book the rule book is the biggest change for the remaster the rules aren't going to change. I said it might be a little modifier rule, which I'll, I'll talk about in a minute. But they've got a team of folks who are just going to take it apart from top to bottom. And Tyler Allender, who worked with me and, and did development on first edition, is going to come back and do development on the remaster and that rule book. Trying to make it a bit more concise, get rid of a lot of the fluff that was added kind of after we we'd finished development on it and I think make, has made it difficult for people to pick up. Anyway, what were we doing? We were doing this little challenge. So this is the hack shack, this is the board. Viral Overload says, I need, let's, um, let's zoom in on Salvation and Virtue. I need viruses here, I need to get rid of these, and I need viruses here, 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 and here. So I've got three, I just need to get another virus on here and get rid of these two sparks. All right, so I've got quite a bit of work to do with only these cards. So first thing is always use the Hack Shack. Hack Shack is an extension to your hand. In co-op you've got to manage it between you. In solo you've got your five cards plus these four. All right? This is your hand. This is always your hand. All nine, possibly ten cards. Okay. So first off, one thing we can do straight away because we're in silver, we've still got another cycle to go. So we're always thinking about upgrading our deck. Let's switch Memory Steel out for Ginger Cool. Okay. Now, now. There's two ways to do this. And actually, there's possibly three ways to do it. This is the way I did it. We're on a neural hub. So we can use Ginger Cool now as two greens to shift those two sparks. Okay, shift, shift. Notice, I can't, we're on your hub, so you act like your ghost is in another partition. And one thing I'm gonna do in the remaster is actually give people a ghost token, so that this makes this easier. So when you're taking your action from a neural hub, one of the things like, for example, people thought you could do with two shifts is, I'm on a neural hub, I'll do shift, shift. You can't do that, because you can, when you ghost your action, you're ghosting to a single partition. So yes, I can shift from here, but not from here. My avatar's not standing here. But I can shift from there with the ghost. All right, shift, shift, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do that with Remaster. I'm gonna give a ghost token, and it'll just help people. So ghosting, take your action, ghost thistles. Okay, perfect. All right, so I've got my two viruses here. All I need is a virus here now, and I need to get rid of these two. Now this was the trick. Christmas tree is a really powerful card. Look, three wild, three leadership. But let's use it for its execute effect. Redistribute any number of sparks on your server to anywhere on the network. Something like that. 
Okay, doesn't matter where you put them really. Now we've secured the red server, we've secured salvation. Okay, what about over here? We're going to use data scan. We're going to use data scan, one information, one wild, so that's two blue commands to move to virtue two. Okay. Perfect. Now, here we've got a few options. There's three different things we could do here. We've got trickery master and we've got reset spark. Reset spark has got two wild on it. We could use those two wild as two greens. This the execute effect says delete all sparks on your partition. We could delete that one, but that doesn't help us with that one. But what we could do instead is use these two purples as two greens. And when we were back over here, right before we moved with data scan, we could have used those two purples to do a remote shift. We could remember you can shift well, if you're on a partition with a green thing, you can shift from another partition with a green thing, right? So green, green, right? Shift, shift, something like that. Okay, well, you could have shifted here. All right, shift, shift. Okay, that's two remote shifts. Then we move in with data scan. And then finally, we do a modify with trickery master. One yellow command, one leadership as red, replace that spark with a virus. And we go, we've done it, we've completed viral overload and we've got rid of all those sparks. The other way to do it, let's put that back. Let's put things back up, that one was over here, that one was here. The other way to do it, let's pick these back up, is to use Trickery Master with its one wild to buy the sidekick, it costs one red. Okay, so we use that wild as red by sidekick. Cool, makes sense. Then we haven't got any yellow anymore. So how are we going to do that modify? It's easy. So we move in with data scan. This time we use sidekick's execute effect to delete one spark on your partition or an adjacent partition. Delete that one. And then we use reset spark, these two wilders, one yellow and one red, to do the modify. <laughs> Neat, huh? And I kind of like that way because we've done, and that's the best way, because what we've done is we've gotten rid of that spark that was sitting here. And we've now got Sidekick in our deck. All right, we've lost Triku Master. But Sidekick's useful, um, and it might be useful for gold. All right, there we go. So we've succeeded. What about that? That's the solution to the puzzle. Very neat, isn't it? Use the shift. Use this. I mean, another thing you could have done is you could have potentially bought Sidekick with Reset Spark and kept Trickery Master. Okay, if you really wanted to keep yellow, use this to do the mod Sidekick to get rid of that one. All right, so that's the third option. Okay. But I like this. Right, what about Viral Overload? Viral Overload Success side says add. So you've succeeded. We've succeeded. We don't have bad stuff, but this is still quite bad. Add one spark to every partition on Virtue and Salvation that does not contain a virus. In the remaster, that or, so it's a bit of an errata, add one spark to every partition on Virtue or Salvation that does not contain a virus. Because, and we're really close here, because we're playing Spider. Spider's in gold, because we're heading into gold, is going to place three sparks at the start of the next turn. So this actually makes it really tough because right that's it we've placed six sparks as due to the success spider's now going to add three <laughs> okay so there's no sparks left that's all of them so it's still quite punishing but i'm going to change that and to an or okay i realize it's a big change but it does mean that these four don't get placed we can choose to add four here or two here i might just keep the fail event the same so the fail might be to add two here, for example. Yeah, well, I'll see. It might be an and. I'm not sure yet. I've not decided. So that was it. That was my update. I hope you enjoyed the little challenge I set you. If you found another way, one that I didn't spot, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>